This video is going to show you how to do some basic things in GeoGebra. So we want to put an equation, we want to graph an equation. So we come down here to input and we want to say that y is equal to, let's put it, let's say we just have a whole bunch of factors. So x plus 5 and then x minus 4 and then we'll do one with the next exponent so you can see what to do there. So x plus 1 and then outside the parentheses here just like in web work if you've used web work it's just caret 2 for your exponent so then we press enter it'll show us a graph and if you come up here to this it says move the graphic so you, I want to move my graph so I can just move it however I want to so I can see th some things well when I look at this I can see that it looks like I'm going to have some low points or minimums on my graph way down it looks like it's going to be quite a bit down so I need to change the window for this one so you come up here to options and you go to settings and then we want to talk about our graphics now sometimes you have to play with this but if you set this over to the side you can usually see kind of what's going on the basic dimensions is really what I want so I need it to be something much bigger than negative six and so I could need to come in here and say okay let this be a little bit more than that and let's say we want it to be negative 200 Just move my cursor to anywhere else it's going to change my graph and we can look at it and definitely we have what we need looks like we probably could have gone to maybe 150 or 160 I would like to make that a little bit less so let's go in here again and what's we'll say 160 now you look at this and you're saying wow that grid is so small how do we change that well let's talk about the grid a distance here we have the Cartesian coordinate and on the X we're okay but for the Y here let's say that that's every 10 not 110 10 and then if we just move and back to our basic just to see we see that we have a much nicer graph I could also come in here and change maybe I don't have enough Y's now so I could come back to the basic and I could say okay x4 is not near big enough so let's say let's see y max to be 50 and then you have a graph that you would like to use so you can just close out of here now if you want to look at the properties of your line you can just right click click on your function and right click it down here it says option object properties now I like to go to style so that the line thickness is bigger so you can see it better I used to go somewhere between seven and nine if you wanted to make a color graph um, you can come in here to color and just pick the color that you want your line to be I'll choose that nice red and then the basics here one of the nice things is down here at the labels okay, you can turn the labels on and off right now it's turned off but I have all these options I could if I choose to do a label I can name it I could maybe give it the name function or I can give it a value um, the value you can see up there will just give me what my factors were or I can give both the name and the value or I can give it a caption maybe I want to say line one okay just to see what that does if I close it I can see now that it's going to tell me that this is line one even though it's not a line and it's going to I've got that nice red curve maybe I don't like that caption so I go back to object right click on the, the curve and get the objects and I don't want that caption anymore but I would like to have the name and the which is the F function and I would like to have the value so I can see it so now I'm going to close and now I have my F of X function and it gives me the actual uh, factors that all right and you want to copy and paste it file export I want to export it to the clipboard you can, and then I have a word file here so I just control V I'm it in there there's my graph and I I can then see my nice graph I can move it oh usually you move it by just pressing enter and then I can make it bigger or smaller however you want to work with it 